Hey guys, it's John from Marco Learning. I'm gonna go over the seven things you need to do to get ready for your AP exam. Number one is you have to pick a spot. Where are you going to take your AP exam? Now, this really depends on your living arrangements. I used to live in a tiny apartment in New York City. I would have had to take the AP exam on a table in the corner of the room with other people in the room. Um, I, now I live in a house so I can find a room and close the door. Whatever you do, have a specific location in mind and tell other people in your household that that's the place that you're going to be taking the AP exam. This will help reduce anxiety too because with that one definitive location, you know exactly where you can practice. You can create a rhythm of expectations for test day so that you're not surprised by anything. Number two is you have to pick your device. There are four different devices you can use on this year's exams. You can use a desktop computer, a laptop computer, a tablet, so an iPad or anything like that, as well as any kind of smartphone. Now, each of these devices has an advantage or disadvantage. If you're taking it on a desktop or a laptop, you have a fixed keyboard. It's easy to type a full essay that way rather than trying to type on your phone. If you're taking on an iPad or a phone, it's much easier to photograph handwritten work rather than trying to transfer the handwritten work photographs from your phone to your computer. That's really challenging. So ask yourself which device is best for you and make sure that the device is up to date. Clear it out, restart it, plug it into a charger and get that device right in your ideal location so you're ready for testing. Now, just as a note, if you are taking any of the modern languages, so AP Spanish language, AP French, any of those exams, you have to take them on a tablet or on a phone. You cannot use a desktop or laptop for those exams. Number three, you have to select the materials you're gonna have on your desk with you. So you can have test prep books, textbooks, study guides, any kind of annotation chart your teacher's giving you. You can have whatever you want there, but if you crowd the space with so many books, it's actually gonna distract you and overwhelm you. Get the smallest amount of materials right next to you. At Marco Learning, we have study guide packs that are really convenient, they're very short. You can have them with you on test day. Number four, you have to figure out whether you're gonna type or handwrite your responses. Now, some subjects just work better handwritten, like AP Calculus AB or BC, where you're writing out all of these math equations. It's just easier to do that on a sheet of paper. Other things can be easier to type. For example, AP English Language and AP English Literature, I type pretty quickly, so I would much rather type those responses. What matters is that you have a plan before you go into the exam. You're gonna select one or the other. You can't mix and match in the middle of a question. And remember that the photographing of handwritten responses comes with some risks, right? For example, the photos might be blurry or not upload correctly. If you log in with your ticket on the exam to a desktop computer, you need to figure out how you're gonna get the photos you take on your phone over to your desktop. That's risky. So for a lot of AP subjects, we're recommending that you type your responses. There's less risk. You can actually edit your responses as you go, but it really depends on you and your preferences. But the point is you need to go into test day with a specific plan. Are you handwriting your responses or are you typing them? Number five, you need to figure out whether you're going to print the responses or not. This is an option that the College Board revealed that you have for test day. You can take the free response questions and send them over to a printer. But if your printer is like my printer, you can't trust your printer. And you wanna make sure that you don't waste three, four, five, six minutes pulling out jammed papers. Make sure you have a backup strategy if you're going to print your responses. Remember that everything that you annotate on a text, let's say the prose fiction analysis of AP English literature or DBQ for AP world history, is not typed material that you can move around inside of Microsoft Word or Google Docs. So typing and keeping everything digital has that advantage as well. Make a calculation, figure out can you count on your printer on test day and use that. Number six is you need to check your mic. If you're taking any exams that require recording, such as AP French or AP Spanish language, you need to make sure that you have headphones with a microphone or you're gonna use the regular microphone or speakers from your phone. The point is have a plan. Those exams require you to download an app. So download the app when it's available and go through the process of testing and recording the materials so that you're ready and confident on test day. Number seven, and this is the most important, is go to the AP exam demo on the College Board's website and try this out. Try putting your name and information in. Try uploading photographs. Try typing responses and attaching documents. Go through this ritual almost every morning. Do it with your cereal when you're getting up 
submit a sample AP exam. And this will give you confidence that you know the technology and it will also help you answer those questions. Do you really wanna print your response? Are you going to attach a Microsoft Word file? These are questions that you can answer only by going and practicing the software for yourself. The point is you need to go into your AP exam with a plan. You shouldn't be deciding 30 minutes before the exam what device you're gonna be taking, whether you handwrite or type. By creating a ritual, a pattern, and knowing exactly what you're gonna do on test day, you're gonna decrease your anxiety and be able to focus on the task at hand. You can do this, plan it well, and good luck on test day.